Yeah, stop it, bro. I'm asking you stop it. Stop the camera, fam. Sorry. What's up, guys? It's your boy. Wait. Start again. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Louise21. Out here in the sun. Yeah, it's not that as warm as it looks, you know. But, we out here. Um, trying to find the best angle in this garden where the light is not, like, blinding me or blinding you. So here we are. Um, this is my second podcast of the new series, if you like. The Real Talk. Only available right here. On the channel, of course. Uh, my brother's just sitting there yawning in the sun like a cat. And I'm trying to vlog or whatever I'm doing. Man's sleeping. Man's sleeping out here. Mm. In the yard, fam. <laughs> oh. Anyway, guys, let's roll the intro. Oh, guys. So that bird in the tree is really annoying. Um, not the only birds that are annoying. Haha, ha, I made a joke. Wow. God. But yeah, I just filmed half of this. And it all kind of didn't work because the camera stopped on its own. Yet again, it keeps stopping. Um, so I got my old technique where I get a mirror up, sit it behind the camera, and so then I can see if it goes off when I'm talking. Because there's some good banter there, some good chat, and like I, I, I did say off camera, Jesus Christ, <laughs> a lot of birds today. Um, yeah. But um, I was saying about the the interview with Harry and Meghan, the whole royal family racism thing. We don't know who it is that that is, but um, yeah, it's it's a complicated thing, and we don't know both sides of the story. Jesus Christ, where are all these prehistoric birds coming from? But anyway, we don't know the full extent of everything. I don't know what to believe. I don't want to upset anyone royalists or whoever but it's all bullshit and you know it's a dodgy family aren't we all dodgy families you know uh, but not on that level like I don't trust any of them even the queens I don't know but I'm not going to piss off all the royalists actually yeah I will like I don't really care about the royal family it's not something that intrigues me um, other people in other countries maybe they're obsessed with it but who cares I could care less like, they're just costing us taxpayers money. Like our money is going there. It's not fair. It's just... I've always felt that way, kind of. It's not something that I really like or I'm interested in. Um, you know, she's an actress. Maybe she made some of it up or exaggerated some bits. But the whole mental health thing confused me. Because I know firsthand about mental health and you can't just suddenly go from being suicidal and having thoughts like that to being fine and, you know, perfectly normal. It doesn't work. Mental health affects you and it stays with you in some form or another. And is she on medication or anything? Any sort of medication? Who knows? I don't know. But she could have act, been acting a bit of that, but then people can't be so old. Well, you saying that makes you racist. No, it's not. I'm just looking at the bigger picture. And they chose a bad time when Prince Philip is not well. But then again, I guess there's some conspiracies around that that maybe he's already dead and they're going to bring the news out like today or tomorrow. Um, well, this is the day after the interview. So maybe they're going to bring this news out that he is actually dead and like distract everyone. You know, but it's like a... Diana repeating itself so Harry just thought let's get out of here and no security and all this they let him go literally oh you come to disturb me bro yeah so what I said about weird families guys I got this guy you don't know what, he, what you don't want to know what he's doing behind the camera but um what do you think of these birds mass they don't shut up do they it's a bad joke. It's the closest we've got to birds recently. You know what I mean? 
bloody lockdown. Speak to yourself. 21st of June. Shut up. <laughs> 21st of June. Are oh, we going to be free? But you know what I realised? Doing gear in the toilet. Doing gear. <laughs> the 19th of June is Boris's birthday. He's timed it perfectly for his birthday, fam. Right, right, guys, this this weirdo is drinking water out of a mug. What kind of mug are you? Nothing. A round mug. No, you're a... I don't know what type of mug. <laughs> Jesus, come on. But yeah, guys. I don't know. Strange times we're living in. Kanye and Kim are getting divorced as well. We'll see if that will be make or break for Kanye. Because I've got mad respect for that guy. But maybe being with that woman caused his mental health to deteriorate. 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 Maybe it caused that. Maybe she was helping him stay slightly stable. Um, we'll see. It might be better for him. It might be liberating. But she's just... When she met him, she was not as famous. Nowhere near. And he was big and famous. And the whole world knew him. And she just sucked all the fame and glory out of him. And then now you're just left with this carcass of a man. And she's just done with him. Surplus to requirements. Stick him in reserves. You know what I mean? On to the next rapper she can find. She's been with a few of them. But yeah. That backside, there's no way that's real. It's not natural. I think that's what's troubling Kanye every night. Is it real? Is it not real? Well, he probably knows. And they're probably going to make him sign some sort of legal agreement to not talk about her ass. But how can you focus with that backside? Like, how can you just, I don't know. Is that me speaking as a, as a disrespectful bloke? I don't know. But yeah, yes, yesterday was National Women's Day. And I'm talking like this, disgusting. But it is a joke, guys. It is a joke. Calm down. Even though this is real talk and I'm making jokes. <laughs> Second episode, guys. Um... I didn't like how the first one went at all. Just being honest. I just got to be more relaxed about it. I got to say, my be one of my best podcasts is that one when I was drunk and I was doing it and it was like nine at night or something. An evening podcast. I was just so chill. Probably the wine talking. Don't you know all about that, bro? Yeah. Wine talks. Oh. Uh. Well, in your case, gin. I haven't seen you with a glass of gin in a while, fam. Mm. Tell you what, guys, first lockdown, we were out keys, we were drinking so much. At home, it's every night, it's like, that's your drink, yeah. <laughs> Sabu <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Jägermeister, yeah. Whiskey, yeah. God, the list went on. Second and third lockdown, it was just like, the novelty's worn off. First one was like, yeah, a bit of freedom. I've been playing way too much PS4 with my mates and I'm addicted to Minecraft now guys that is what lockdown has done to me made me a recluse well, we had no choice did we and uh yeah 2021 yeah woo 21st of June everyone's gonna go mad go out and then everyone's gonna get Covid again well, hopefully not because we've got vaccines we're fully vaccinated in this house fam fam? guys <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going road man on Brethren. The, brethren fam. You know, they're chilling in the yard fam. I can go street if you want me to. If I get angry, I go street. Probably been watching too much Young Philly and Chunks. I saw a post of them on a bus today. Brilliant. Yeah, because they, they got their own. Foot what? Asylum. Oh, yeah, foot asylums everywhere, man. The amount of famous people they've done videos with. They're brilliant, man. I love those two. Um, if you don't know who they are, if you saw Soccer Aid, uh, Chunks is the fat geezer in Mr. Penalty. That's, that's harsh. Should we call him fat? He's lost weight now. <laughs> the chunky geezer. They said standing next to each other, they're like a te like a number 10. Philly's the 1 and he's the O. <laughs> the 0. But yeah, 
Philly is the one who scored that amazing goal in that soccer aid game. <laughs> they're, they're, true, they're true ones. The true brethren fam, in it? Like they met all the place. See, I probably talk street when I think of them. Um, checked out the Mo Gilligan podcast. Uh, um, he's done a few with like Rio Ferdinand, Michael Richards, and it's great to see their aspect of the game, having been there and done it, you know. And yeah, so I've been on, on YouTube like, a lot, if not on Minecraft. Um, I saw that series on Netflix, Lupin, that's brilliant. I had to watch it in subtitles. Um, but it kind of reminds me of like Ocean's Eleven meets Money Heist meets James Bond. All into one meets Jason Bourne. Phone's ringing. Yeah. With the phone. Are you sure you got water in that mug? Not. It's not whiskey. No. Nah. Could be. Got it. Okay. But yeah, guys, chilling in the garden. I wasn't meant to do with this out here, but now that bird stopped chirping. So I thought. But yeah, I've got um, a podcast that I'm going to be on. A oh, podcast. Interview podcast called In Conversation With um, that you will have seen from my Instagram if you follow me there. So In Conversation With, it's on the Muscle Help Foundation website. They have a series where they do In Conversation With different people. Literally what it is, it's brilliant. Um, to be on there, to get you know some more recognition that I deserve, I so deserve, and not many people come out and say that they deserve something. Um, but yeah, I'm glad. And this past year, I've had some good things going on. I was in the local paper, did the, like a video call with uh, some of the Italian Padre football players and the Italian Padre football like. Federation, whatever they call it. I think it's Federation, doesn't it? It doesn't translate directly. But that was on behalf of EPFA, the European Padre Football Association. God, that's a mouthful. But yeah, it was on behalf of them. So I'm very grateful for that as well. And, you know, I hit 100 subscribers last year. And 2021, more of the same. You know, if I could go back to, say, pre-COVID, like beginning of 2020, you know, if I knew what was going to happen, what I'm thinking, I think back, like, what would I say to myself? I would have said, just be ready for shit to go mad, for things to go crazy. And just because the world is falling apart, or so it seems around you, doesn't mean yours will. And, you know, I've been through shit in my life anyway, so... What's this gonna do? It's just gonna be another challenge. You know, I, I, it would have been difficult. But, you know, I mean, imagine someone like in the future invents time travel and they travel back to 2020. It's like, oh shit, wrong year. Imagine that. It's weird. And we made it to Mars. Well, a robot did. And Elon Musk is trying to follow them, follow NASA and do the same. Spending all his min millions on doing stuff, and uh, yeah, so the stock market went crazy the other month, or earlier this month, with the whole GameStop stocks and all that, that went mad. Some people became rich, some people became poor as a result. I don't do anything on the stock market. I'm terrible at maths. Just about got a C in maths. What did you get in maths? Me? C. I got a C as well. But you're actually better at maths than me. Well, it's kind of in your job. Oh, but Sparky. Sparky. What are you having now? Espresso? Espresso. Did you eat lunch? Yeah. Oh, dick I'm waiting for my lunch. It's in the oven, guys. A bird's still chirping, fam. Right, Matt, check if it's still recording. The red light flashing. Good. You can't even see, can you? It's nodding repeatedly. I can see it playing in the screen. But yeah, guys, I'll tell you what. Speaking of Netflix earlier, don't go and watch the Capone movie with Tom Hardy about the story of Al Capone. 
It's terrible, guys. One of the worst films I've seen this year. In a while, actually. Like, Tom Hardy, I love you, you're a legend. Literally, oh, legend. You. But fuck you and that. <laughs> nah. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to prison. Ah. Oh. Lock me up and throw away the key. Yeah, don't play Minecraft either, guys. You'll be hooked. I swear, I lost count of how many hours I'm just. You know, when you're like, like, oh yeah, I'll finish this bit and then I'll go off offline. You, you don't, though. You carry on, move on the next thing. You just keep going. You can't get off the game. It's not like FIFA, oh, I'll play this game and then I'll, I'll go offline, watch some YouTube or whatever. But with Minecraft, you can't do that. Um, so to my friends who are on there with me, thank you and screw you at the same time because I'm addicted. Damn it. You know what I mean? And no age you want to get over video games. You know, yeah, that, that, that idea when you're younger, oh, yeah, one day I'll sell my PS4 and I'll grow up. No, that's not the point. It's a way of life now because of lockdown. You never know. Might be some other pandemic in the future. Yeah, you're probably saying, oh, don't say that. But there probably will be and be stuck indoors again. You know what I mean? We'll be buying toilet paper like a madness. Another time, but I'm gonna end it soon. I had something. End it soon. soon. <laughs> In it, man, like God. Soon. Oh Jesus. But yeah, guys. I don't know what, what else happened in the world? Anything you can think of that happened in your life? <laughs> no, you ain't got a life. But I'm telling you, June 21st. Oh, I need get, job. June 21st. We've got to make sure we're looking lang and then get out there. Shut up the real birds, not these ones in the tree. But yeah, guys, it's proper warm out here. I'll be honest. I can't wait for summer because, like, last year summer was kind of ruined. We had a bit of freedom, a bit more freedom than we have now. Everyone got the vaccine, but it's the same. I'm still wearing my mask when I do go out. I have been out that much, I'm saying, but, you know, I need to go out and film a vlog in some of my favourite places, you know, Camden, because you get the weirdness there, and demand them. A um, guy tried to sell me his mixtape, <laughs> but he gave me a free version, because he liked me for some reason. Maybe he was moving gazy. Gay Z. I didn't offend anyone, because gazy means fugazi, which means fake. If you've seen Donnie Brasco, everyone has. Well, all, all us millennial, fucking <laughs> millennial. Are we mill I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. No, you're Gen Z. Screw the Gen Z, man. Get my nerves, man. I think you are. You're saying Eminem's offensive. Got a girl like Cardi B out here talking about her private areas, but Eminem can't tell a joke or rap like he does with some words that some people might find offensive but who cares he's a legend man don't be being this stupid gen z people coming at me say oh eminem offense no no because you've got cardi b and you've got all these twonks out here trying to act like oh it's okay for us to swear all right guys i'm gonna love you and leave you until the next episode take it easy you know Stay up, stay humble, keep it real, guys. And as always, peace.